Yeah. So, I mean, the first thing to say, I guess, is we are actively looking at this. So there is this big project in the UK called the UK CCMP. So the UK Cancer Coronavirus Monitoring Project, where anybody with cancer who has um, a PCR positive test for COVID, so is positively diagnosed with COVID, um, is the data is getting fed into a central database uh, so we can try and understand risk factors for patients with cancer and we're collecting their treatment data so what treatments have they been on just before getting covid now you know there are various issues with this sort of analysis so i can't claim to know all the answers yet but one of the things we're most interested in looking at is some of the b cell depleting agents so rituximab um, and the reason, the reason we're interested in that is people who've had rituximab, they've often had it for lymphoma and they often have very low antibody levels. So they're what's called hypogamma globulinemics. They have low antibody levels anyway. And sometimes when you challenge them with vaccines such as flu or other vaccines as well, tetanus, there is some data that at least a proportion of those patients don't respond as well uh, to patients who haven't had rituximab prior. Um, now, so far in our analysis, we're not seeing that prior, prior rituximab, at least within the, four, the prior four weeks, doesn't seem to be increasing a patient's risk of death. That's what we're looking at um, if they get COVID. But, you know, there are caveats around this data and it's still a work ongoing. Uh, but at the moment, that seems reasonably safe. And it's fair to say as well that other agents that have been looked at. So, for example, there was a very big European collaboration looking at myeloma patients and some of the specific treatments they've been on. And it's not actually identified any particular treatments as being relatively high risk. And actually, one very reassuring thing that's come out of the whole UK CCMP database is that recent chemotherapy for cancer in general, so not just blood cancer, but any cancer, breast cancer, prostate cancer, surprisingly uh, didn't seem to increase the um, rate of poor outcomes in cancer patients. Probably the most, um, well, age is always the massive risk factor. You know, older patients do worse, um, whether you've got cancer or not, um, but also uncontrolled cancer in particular, uncontrolled, untreated leukemia, myeloma, et cetera, that seems to be a bigger risk. So actually not having treatment and having uncontrolled cancer is probably worse. It's not to say if you're on watch and wait, you'll do particularly badly because that is still controlled. It's not running away with you, but it's more when people have a newly diagnosed blood cancer that you would otherwise go in and treat. If a patient gets COVID at that point, that's when the outcomes do sadly seem to be particularly bad.